Well, greetings. My name is Alicia Cutting of 106.3 Smooth FM, your home for cool jazz, smooth sounds, and a touch of soul. And it's my pleasure to uh, hang out for a few minutes with one of our favorite long-standing WEIB artists, Mr. Vincent Ngala. And I got to tell you, it's been such a pleasure to see you over, can you believe how many years it's been? I want to say it's been at least 10. I think maybe? a little over 10, if that's, if you could believe that. Crazy. I, yeah, I can believe it. You guys were like one of the first ever to get on board and your support has never wavered over the years. I just love everybody at the station. You guys are like family, truly. So, and I haven't seen you in a bit, so it's great. I know. Catch up and I, I love this so much. You know, it's it's, it's been it's been a, an amazing ride. Um, I know for us and for you and seeing you develop, I I, I don't want to date it, but it's been I feel an honor to have seen you literally come up as a teenager, and many people will recognize that you are an old soul musically. And we will have the definite pleasure, if they've never seen you before at one of our WEIB events, they will see you coming up during the Greater Hartford Festival of Jazz. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Absolutely. But, yeah, I did. I got started very young. You know, seven you did. Years, my first CD came out. And a lot yeah. of memories up in Holyoke, Mass, with the beautiful <laughs> afterward cool down. I mean, that was like, we did so many of those. Those were just incredible. So many experience every time what a party and a lot of a lot of dear memories from from that you know time period we're coming up the ranks and growing up mm -hmm. everything was so fresh and exciting it still is by the way of course it is especially for you and again our weib listeners throughout you know throughout the area they know you they remember you we continue to play your music of course but for those people who have never seen a very energetic Vincent and Gala show. What can they expect to see coming up with the Greater Hartford Festival of Jazz? Again, that is Friday, July 15th through Sunday, July 17th. You'll be hitting the stages on Friday evening at 8.30. Yes. What can we expect? Well, first of all, I'm thrilled to be going to Hartford Jazz Festival. My first time ever doing the Hartford Jazz Festival. Been, been dying to do it for years and all the cards just aligned this time with the stars, I should yes, say. Yes, of course they did. And the cards too, hey. Sure. So it's all in the cards, right? <laughs> but um, it's a great event and I got my, I'll got i have my full band with me. My okay, you know, good. band. I got, you know, I've been working with the these guys for a while now and got a brand new show. You know, a lot of new songs from the latest CD, Fire and Desire. Well, Fire and Desire. And uh, we'll be doing some oldies but goodies, you know, all the classics, but we'll be throwing in some, some new stuff. And of course, you know, I got to pay homage to the old school slow jams and yes. taking me back a little bit. And, you know, big influence on my part. My father introduced me to tons of, of music. He was a DJ, you know, back then. So um, it's kind of like a little mishmash of all my musical experiences coming out and uh, in one show. And I'll be hopping around on sax, guitar, little vocals, and kind of give everybody a little variety you know we got you answered my question you answered my questions you're such a you're such a wonderful artist and anyone who knows me knows i don't say that lightly but i have always enjoyed your shows because you are truly um yeah i, I don't want to say old soul again but you are because okay you're in your 20s now but you would think that you had been a musical multi-instrumentalist since probably before you were born well, I was I, in the womb. You were, you were, because exactly. again, <laughs> you. And when I say musical multi instrumentalist, please clarify for those watching what instruments you play. Of course, we know you do sing and sax, but what do you do? Well, I think I'm, you know, most like you said, most identified with the sax as my main voice. But you know, I started on drums at five, six years old, even earlier actually. Yeah. Guitar was a huge, you know, part of my life all through, you know, before I even picked up the sax, keyboards. And, you know, I've had this uh, this whole experience, you know, in my childhood growing up with multi-track recording and layering instruments on top of one another, playing drums, keys, guitar, bass, which was what seemed like forever. You know, it wasn't until fifth grade that I actually got attracted to the saxophone and then stuck with it. It was discouraging at first because it's a hard instrument. To it kind of definitely, the, the wind instrument, yeah. it's, it's a lot of work. It's a little different kind of work. Well, it takes a long time to get a fairly decent sound without sounding like a, a, a dying animal or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make the sound, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I stuck with it, thankfully, because I think there was a strong will to master this instrument. It was mm -hmm. far from mastering 
you know, we're always learning as, as musicians, but the fact that it seemed like a little more unattainable as opposed to the other instruments, I, there was this mystery that surrounded the sax that I really wanted to kind of unlock, and, and I'm still trying to unlock it to this day. But uh, it became, you know, I, I think I became settled on it as my main voice, and, I, and others have come to identify mostly my sound through the sax, never abandoning all the other instruments. I still, oh, I play all the other instruments. I, I do all the instrumentation on my records to this day. And, I can and which is what I, I love that about you because some artists, you know, well, not, not, not everyone is going to take to that and say, you know what, I'm just going to put it all in and showcase all of your abilities and keep it fresh, like you said earlier, and keep your voice fresh and make sure that as you're continuing to play and continuing to develop, that you keep your voice fresh. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I think... Um having that experience in my childhood, you know, um, helped me to develop my my studio chops along the way. So by the yeah. time I came out with my first CD, I already knew how to put together everything that I, I heard in my head. I didn't need to really reach out to a, a producer or hire musicians. I kind of had the means to get the, everything I was hearing. I know how to drum program because I was a drummer. Mm -hmm. I know how to play keys and guitar. So I was able to put together all these creations that I was writing at the time and I just you just keep expanding and growing as years go on and you just keep learning and absorbing and just that's it and as the years have gone on again since we saw you like literally developing you got your first um what was it the uh you got one of your first awards 2012 mm. um the billboard billboard uh yes the uh, Billboard Smooth Jazz Awards. I'm trying to my time. Billboard Smooth Jazz Award. You were like again very young. 2013, you got one of the Watercolor um, Breakthrough Artist of the Year awards, and that was again 10 years ago. So here you are. You're doing a lot of great things. We're going to see you in Hartford again. That is the Greater Hartford Festival of Jazz. It is Friday, July 15th, all the way Saturday the 16th, Sunday the 17th. Vincent, you'll be there uh, 8.30, taking to the stage, right before Boney James at 10, but you'll be there at 8.30. And like I said, if anyone, if you have not been to the Greater Hartford Festival of Jazz, now Vinny, you've been for years, this is your first time, like you said, right. being on the stage. Sure. But it is an amazing experience. Literally thousands of people at Bushnell Park, the Capitol Lawn, Hartford, Connecticut, Capital City. Beautiful and at city. night. Hartford, the capital of Connecticut. We're, we're right near Massachusetts, Springfield. It's that, you know, melting pot of area. Everybody coming exactly. up. Exactly. It's a free show. You can't come, beat that. Which is amazing because it gives literally anyone a chance to go see live music. Yes. Bring your chair. Have a good time. Bring the young kids out. We need to inspire the next Every generation year. of musicians. This is the time when they go see a performer, they get inspired and they say, I want to play that instrument or I want to be on stage or I, we need more of that. So events like this are yes. really. Um, it's a quintessential experience during the summertime. There you go. It's, you, you cannot, fun. yeah, absolutely. Hartford Jazz Festival, Greater Hartford Festival of Jazz, coming up July 15th through the 17th. Again, it is, like he said, it is a free event, no charge to you, thanks to our wonderful sponsors. So if you are from, if you're coming from Boston, from New York, from Connecticut, Massachusetts, converge upon Bushnell Park and see phenomenal performances. And I, I gotta tell you, the Christie's, they do a phenomenal job every year of just bringing everybody together. And the vibe, like I said, when I'm standing on stage and just introducing artists and I'm looking out, all demographics, young, older, um, from all over the place, just enjoying jazz music and the funky grooves like Vincent and Gala, because you're definitely a more funky guy. Well, we gotta come with the party, you know, we gotta you, throw our groove in there. This that's it, cool. no. <laughs> that's it. So if you are expecting a, a, a jazzy, groovy, funky show with Vincent, get your dancing shoes on, have your sneakers, put the put the lawn chair to the side, stand up, dance, because you're gonna have a great time. Put your chair right? around, dancing all night, so. All night, seriously. So again, I'm Vinny, any, any news you wanna share with us? What's coming up? I think it's Smooth Jazz Crew somewhere, anywhere. Um, what's going on? Well, it's been busy, you know, uh, coming out of COVID, thankfully. I'm, I'm, I feel blessed for that because Very much. Uh, quite a long hiatus that we had when we were off. But things have been 
moving and shaking. Last year, I was on tour with uh, Dave Cos and Summer Horns, Kirk Whalem, Mindy Abear. We, we went all over uh, the U.S. last summer, had an absolute blast. Um, I was on the Peter White Christmas tour last December with uh, Peter and Mindy Abear. And this year we are doing a uh, another Christmas tour. It's Mindy Aver's call. It's her Christmas tour. I can't wait for Christmas. It's called with uh, Adam Holly and Lindsay Webster. We're going to be going out. And right now, in addition to my own stuff, I'm on tour with uh, with Peter White as well. The two of us are out on the road, and we've, we've been uh, we've been out there since spring, and we're going to go through the rest of the year. And we've just been having a blast doing our show together. We have such a special unique chemistry together. I we've love the chemistry. For a long time, you know. Yes. Yes. I met him when I was 17 years old as well, you know. Not crazy. And now you're just touring with him, doing your thing across across the world, just touring, doing your thing. Yeah, you know, years ago, I would never think any of this would happen. It's just everything has come around full circle, 100%. And I just, uh, I never take anything for granted, especially after coming out of COVID. Every time we get in that airplane or take that stage, it's such yep. a fun thing to doing this, something that we love. You know, it's really... It's not work. I can't say we work. I feel like we're just we just have you fun. You practice. You do, you know you you put in, but the joy that you express, the exuberance that you display when you're performing, it is contagious. It's literally contagious. And again, I'm grateful for artists like you who have a wonderful spirit about you. And again, we can't wish anything more but more success with you. Well, thank you so, very much. And like I said, huge props to WEAB. You guys literally thank since you. Day one, the whole family, you guys have been nothing but, you know, in my corner, instrumental in so many milestones. And uh, and you guys are truly one of the last of your kind around of the station. Yes. And it's yeah. like so crucial that we keep this format going as long as we can. And you guys are more than doing that. And we're, we're so, the whole smooth jazz community is uh is grateful to weib for that so thank you and we're grateful for artists like you who keep it real keep the music grooving and have a great time so again please vincent can you give them your um your information where can they find you where can they learn more about you absolutely vincentengala.com my website all the tour dates are there everything you might need uh, i'm active on social media come by on facebook instagram both just vincent and gala simple enough there you go. Connect there. And um, latest CD is Fire and Desire. It came out September of last year. And we're still touring in support of that. We'll be doing plenty of cuts at, uh, at Bushnell Park and Hartford Jazz Fest. And uh, we are just so thrilled, so excited to be coming uh, to, to Bushnell Park for the first time. And grateful uh, to everybody at the Hartford Jazz Fest for having us this year. We can't wait. It's going to be a blast. It really is. It's going to be a blast. Absolutely. So again, it is a no charge event. Of course, donations will be accepted. We love for you to be able to support with your, you know, with your, but it is not required. It is a free event open to the public. Bring your lawn chairs. Have a blast. Bushnell Park. Again, those dates are Friday, July 15th through Sunday, July 17th. Go to hartfordjazz.org for the fun phenomenal amazing lineup and then when i tell you I, I i don't want to start naming but we are going to groove like average white band groove like bony james groove like yeah. like we we are going to seriously have a blast i'm so excited to be lineup here. is like, insane and i i think this might literally. be the uh, connecticut or or even of the year of the summer so it, you know. it is going to be <laughs> so we're coming out of like i said covid we're gonna have a blast Bring the right energy. I know you're going to do it, and we're so grateful for you. So once again, Vincent and Gala, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Appreciate you as always. Great to see you, and I'm looking forward to hanging out again. Great Harvard Festival of Jazz. Yeah, we better hang out. Oh, listen, you already know I'm going to get my dance in, so I'll, I'll be off the side yeah, of the stage too. Make sure AJ comes out too. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks so much, Finny. Again, Vincent and Gala. And we appreciate you. Hartfordjazz.org is the website to see the, uh, the amazing lineup. Thanks again, Benny. Appreciate you. Appreciate From it. your friends yeah. at WEIB 1063 Smooth FM.